I'm Amy Cherry. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow ya. Authorities are asking for your help after a shooting over the weekend in Palm Coast. John Arking reports. The Flagler County Sheriff's Office responded to a vehicle audio business at 15 Hargrove Lane about 3.30 Saturday afternoon in reports of a shooting. The shooter, identified as 32-year-old Alan Presley Jr., was still on scene and cooperative with deputies, but as Sheriff Rick Staley reports, they still need additional details. Preliminary indications indicate this may be a stand-your-ground case. However, the investigation is still on ongoing bar detectives. At this time, there's been no arrest. If anyone has information, we ask that they call Crime Stoppers at 1-888-277-TIPS. You may be eligible for a reward up to $5,000. The initial investigation revealed that Presley and 25-year-old Joshua Lamaster had an argument prior to the shooting in which Lamaster sustained gunshot wounds but is expected to survive. He was airlifted to Halifax Health Medical Center in Daytona Beach by Flagler County's emergency fireflight helicopter. There were conflicting reports as to whether or not Lamaster had brandished a firearm during the argument. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm John Arkin. Yesterday on WNZF, we told you that individual applications for COVID-19 relief were closed. Now, applications for small businesses seeking help have also been put on hold. Tourism Director Amy Lukasik says they received nearly 1,000 applications, which could cover the remainder of funds allocated by the state. Flagler distributed nearly $2.5 million in grant money, which is all it's received to date for small businesses. Businesses that have applied are now in a queue as the county awaits for funding from the state, though there's been no date given for when to expect the cash. How comfortable will it be for staff to return to school this year? Flagler County School Superintendent Kathy Middlestadt said that she has a job to do. The perspective from employees feeling confident and comfortable to return to work, and, and that's our job locally to ensure that we've taken care of of our vulnerable. We've protected them. We've provided them with all the protocols to keep everyone safe. Middlestat said that it is on the community as a whole to keep the coronavirus at bay. To listen to more of the interview with Jacob Oliva and Kathy Middlestat, download the Flagler Radio app and then go to the Free for All Friday podcast. Tomorrow, students and mask wearing. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. The dose that you get is related to the likelihood that you're going to actually get sick. And Flagler County Medical Director Dr. Stephen Bickle says if you contract COVID-19, your contagiousness is directly linked to your viral load. He tells WNZF when a person is most contagious. So there's about a 10-day window from about two days before symptoms on average to seven or eight days after symptom onset on average that you're contagious. And he adds people who are asymptomatic are just as contagious as those who have symptoms. Kids are not as susceptible to an exposure. They run high viral loads. In the younger ones, I think even higher than adults. And they're minimally symptomatic. So that's a case where they're still very contagious, but they're minimally symptomatic. He says asymptomatic spread makes the virus difficult to stamp down. People have high viral loads a day or two before their symptoms start with COVID on average. They don't even know they have it. They're out and about and they're spewing out, you know, millions of viruses. With only a week to go in the National Mayor's Challenge for water conservation, it's time to pledge your commitment by Monday, August 31st. Karen Johnson has the details. MyWaterPledge.com is the place to sign up to use water more efficiently, reduce pollution, and save energy. Palm Coast Mayor Melissa Holland says the city placed first nationally in 2019, and she wants to see a repeat. Our goal is to once again be recognized in the top place in the country as what we want to see in a community, and that is to conserve, conserve, conserve. Currently, the city is ranked number two for towns with a population just under 100,000. This is Palm Coast's sixth year to participate in the national competition. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Amy Cherry.